I have built myself my own solar crypto mining farm in my own home. Not only does it completely cover its own electricity costs, but it also covers my household electricity costs and leaves me with over a thousand dollars a month in disposable income to spend on whatever I want. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about solar setups, particularly with crypto mining, then make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to explain the lot to you, my setup, the costs and look at the numbers. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. My solar setup consists of 20 370 watt longy panels and an 8 kilowatt inverter to make use of all of that energy. The total upfront cost was $8,811, but as you can see with that rebate of $4,080, the final amount was $4,531 all the way back in November of 2021. So how did I come to the conclusion that this was actually going to be a smart investment? Well, at the time, I knew my farm was making about $6,000 in revenue and was costing about $6,000 to run. So a net zero. Knowing that the solar would cover my complete farm through sunlight for at least one third of the day, I knew I could take out a $2,000 profit from that $6,000 total, meaning in just over two and a half years, I would have had this thing paid off and then some. My next consideration was, do I get a battery? So at the time, the batteries were about ten to fifteen thousand dollars to get one installed for about a twenty to thirty kilowatt capacity, depending on where you were looking. And as this was in 2021, I knew Ethereum was going to proof of stake soon, and profits were about to be almost non-existent. My first thought was let's get the solar installed let's roi in that in two and a half years and then we can think about a battery later if i was to add that battery at a sort of two thousand dollar a year profit you'd be looking at another five to seven years to pay that thing off before i'd taken any profit so at the time i thought no maybe in hindsight i probably should have done it because it would have been a great investment to have now but that's always a consideration for the future for my mining farm. Next up, let's look at the farm itself. So I've got a number of different pieces of hardware in here, all sorts of different stuff, mining all sorts of different cryptocurrencies. So to start, we've got a number of GPU mining rigs consisting of three 3070 rigs, eight cards in total on each. We've also got a number of Casper Mini Miners, the KS0 Ultras. We've got a Lithium Miners, the AL2 Lights and the Albox. And we've also got some assorted CPU mining rigs and Warthog rigs with a number of different cards on those as well as CPUs. 3900Xs, 5900Xs, 7950Xs and 5950Xs. These rigs themselves have an assortment of different graphics cards on them, including 3090s and 4070s mostly. So not all of these are turned on 24 seven as even with solar, some of the 24 hour electric kilowatt hour rates are not that great. So we'll jump on over to a daily graph of my solar intake and I'll explain to you exactly how that all works. So let's take a look at what a typical day of solar looks like for here in Australia in summer at the moment. So we can see from about 5 a.m. all the way through till about 6 p.m. We're generating some sort of solar on that inverter and on those panels. But we know that our Warthog rigs and our ASICs that I'm running 24 seven use around three kilowatts. So from around 7 a.m. give or take 20 past seven, we've got those covered all the way through till about where are we here about 3 p.m so we've got a good eight hours plus worth of solar that's covering those rigs completely they're running 24 7 and this is how we reduce that 24 hour kilowatt rate from the grid down by 33 percent on these rigs now my gpu rigs only get turned on at around five kilowatts capacity which is around 8 30 they're using 2000 watts the other rigs are using 3000 hence the 5000 total so from about 8 a.m they are completely covered when they go on all the way through here 
till about 2 p.m. or so. So a good six hours full cover and then it sort of teeters off. So you could you could take some percentage out there. So this is how we really achieve this uh, this reduction in kilowatt hour rate. Now, ideally, you know, this would pick up straight away, but that's not how the sum works. So that's what we're looking at. And that is where we're going to get these numbers from and how we calculate our actual monthly profitability on this farm with these rigs, which we'll have a look at right now. All right, so let's have a look at how those numbers break down. Now, I should mention our electricity bill for last month at home for these Warthog rigs, these Alifia miners, and these uh, GPU rigs, the Zealous rigs is what we're mining, came to $329. So we can see here on the left, we've got our 320 Watt at, at $1.80, sorry totaling $576 less the electricity is $206.71 now this is my 24 hour kilowatt rate once I include my solar it would be closer to 27 cents without that solar so making a huge huge difference moving across to the right we have those alephium box miners that we mentioned the AL2 lights and the Albox 185 alephium $3.73 totaling $690 subtotal of electricity is $147 so about what's that $550 profit a month just in those alone of course the zealous rigs the GPU rigs are running purely off the solar so no electricity costs there $221 now of course there are going to be some cloudy days some rainy days but for the sake of the numbers today we've not included those you could take out 20% off this profit if you wanted to to give you a better idea now we do also have some big boy asics hoisted some casper miners a couple of ks5ms and a ks5l so just to get our monthly total for now we will just take these totals out so you can see exactly what our monthly at home profitability would be for these rigs so right now we're looking at $36 a day, $255 a week or $1,132 a month after that electricity bill at home is paid. So a really, really good total at this stage. Across to the right here, I've got a sensitivity analysis. This is basically if all of these coins were to reduce their cost by half or their price by half, how much would we be making? Also as a 2x, a 3x or a 4x price. So we can see this forex if it hits in the uh, in the bull run or should i say alt season that's coming soon 4500 a month so what's that 45000 for 10 months you know about 54000 or so a year uh, just at home with these rigs if everything goes to plan but we will add these uh casper asics back in for the sake of it so you can get a more of a totality uh size of the profit $1,647 a month at the moment. Now, these Casper ASICs do have a much better hosted price. As you can see, the margins aren't that great at the moment. Casper is a uh, hash rate is increasing. So $1,400 a month profit, or should I say revenue $881 in, uh, in electricity. So it's a decent, decent chunk, but still works out nice and profitable, which is great for now. Now I do also have a few more uh, box miners coming, a couple of AL2 lights and a couple of uh, Doge miners. These are the Alphapex DG Home ones coming. So I've added them in as well. These will be able to be completely covered by the solar as well. I may have to reduce the use of uh, some of these zealous GPU rigs depending on how sunny the day is to make sure these can get covered. But assuming that we could cover them for the full eight hours, at a 17 cent kilowatt hour rate remember this is in AUD we'd be looking at an additional $929 a month off the solar completely which would leave our total at $2,545 a month off the solar so remember at the start of the video when we were looking at uh, making this profit per year a few years ago well things have definitely changed right now and as you can see the profits are looking really really nice so that is what we're working with guys in a few weeks when everything has arrived about two and a half grand a month Australian dollars of course in profit for the at home crypto mining. If you were to take out those Casper ASICs that being hosted you could say $2,000 a month 
Either way, a really, really good total. And like I said, that solar has paid itself off 10 times over at this point. Definitely one of the best investments I've ever made or the best investment I've made for my crypto mining farm. Electricity here in Australia is very expensive. So being able to take off eight hours or reduce that electricity rate by 33% is an absolute game changer. So that will wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it's changed your mind about solar and crypto mining. If you're interested, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Join the Discord. Links in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.